guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? I'm live now. Wow. I, I am so pumped up. Forget Kaneko 2.0. Let's do Kaneko 3.0 today. Listen, guys, you don't understand how excited I am to be here. Like, like many of you, I go to conferences all across the country. I'm just getting here from New York City and Creative Week. But, but something about Big Omaha feels a little bit special. It feels a little bit different. Would you guys agree with me? Oh, man. I think one of the reasons why this feels a little bit special, a little bit different for me, is because it feels like home. I'm not from Omaha, but as I look at the speaker lineup, that amazing speaker lineup, there are so many names that I've been fortunate enough to interview over the years on my business show and in business articles that I write. As I look out here in the audience, I see a lot of friends and familiar faces, people I know from organizations like Summit Series. I see a lot of people I've never met face to face, but people I follow on Twitter or I use your product or services or I read your blog posts. So I'm really inspired to be here. You know, I've been really fortunate throughout my career to get paid to be a professional question asker. I started when I was hosting shows with Nickelodeon a long time ago. Now I do that as a business journalist interviewing CEOs and entrepreneurs like all of you guys out there. And I do it with my company, Think Action, where I work with young professionals to produce exceptional results in their career. Now listen, I take question asking extremely serious. And there's one question that I've been able to ask throughout my career with consistency that I think is, is uber, uber, uber important. And that question is, who makes you better? Think about that for a quick second. Who makes you better? Who are those individuals that empower you, that inspire you, that challenge you, that push you, that test you, that hold you accountable to be the best version of yourself? Now, right now, I invite you guys, look around the room real quick. Take, seriously, look around the room. Nobody's turning their head. But believe me, these people in this room right here are people that make you better. It's not working too well. Okay, stand-up comedy time. These people in this room right now are people who make you better. And what I want to do as a group, more so as a family, is make a commitment. Can we make a commitment together, guys? That not just for today or tomorrow, but moving forward, we commit to making each other better. If you guys commit to making each other better, on the count of three, let me hear you say Big Omaha. One, two, three. Big Omaha! Holler. Let's do that one more time, but this time, shake the shoulders a little bit on Big Omaha, okay? <laughs> Come on, go along with me. One, two, three. Big Omaha! You see that difference when you get the shoulders into it? It makes a big difference. You're having a bad day? Shake the shoulders. I want to take this one step further, okay? I want you guys to make eye contact with someone to your left or to your right. I don't care if you know this person or not, if they're a colleague, first time meeting them, it doesn't matter. Make eye contact right now, please, with someone. I don't care how awkward it gets. <laughs> Let's get awkward. Okay, we got eye contact made? Eye contact. Now, I want you guys to repeat after me. Here we go. Repeat after me. Make eye contact, please. You guys aren't doing it up front. You two aren't doing it. You're not doing it, and you're not doing it. Here we go. Eye contact, repeat after me. First say to your new friend, I see you. <laughs> Let's do that one, one more time. Look at your new friend and say, I see you. Now let me hear you say, I appreciate you. And follow it up with, thank you for making me better. One more time, thank you for making me better. Now give that person a hug, do it. Give him a hug right now. That's what's up. Now give a nice big round of applause for that, for making each other better right here. You guys have no idea, New York City Creative Week had nothing on this. Thank you guys, and let's get into some details real quick to make Big Omaha a huge success. Now listen, these are some of the things you guys need to know to make things extremely successful. Number one, if you guys did not grab a program when you walked in, 
No need to worry, you can download the Big Omaha app that's available for the iPhone or the Android, and you can download that at BigOmaha.com. And big thanks to Ninth Division, who has made the Big Omaha app for four years now. Oh. Now, also, this is really, really cool. Also, you can get on your iPhone or any phone you have is the Small Talk, the Small Talk app. This is a messaging app that you can connect with other big Omaha attendees. It's really simple. It's less awkward if you don't want to go up to them. So make sure you go to bigomaha.com backslash small talk. And we want to thank the creative team at What Cheer for making Small Talk. And wow, we got some great news right here. Right now, Big Omaha, somewhere in America or somewhere across the world, we are live streaming. Let's say hello to everybody, wherever they are. Raise your hand, smile, clap your hands for a quick second. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Hello, Cleveland. So if you want to let people know who aren't here, where they can watch us, make sure they go to BigOmaha.com slash live. BigOmaha.com slash live. And thanks to Three Pillars Media for the camera work for this and to Evolve for managing the stream and our big sponsor for making the live stream happen, Hay Needle. Let's give a round of applause for all of them. I see you. Now, lastly, before I introduce our, our first speaker, a few housekeeping items we have to take care of. Listen, if you guys need help, there are volunteers all across here. They're wearing some really awesome black Under Armour shirts, and they have the big Omaha logo on there. If you need them, they'll be there ready to help you. If you guys need to go to the bathroom, bathrooms are located right in the back and near the entrance where you guys came in. Uh, the good thing, enjoy food and drink all you want in here. Just don't do it in the blogger lounge. Uh, however, the Blogger Lounge is brought to you by, let's find that right there, our sponsor, Newstar. Let's get up from Newstar real quick for the Blogger Lounge. Real quick, a big thanks to LinkedIn for breakfast and for Nano Nation for the, the snack bar. For you guys who have your computers, your iPads, your phones, or whatever, we have free wireless all throughout this facility. Just use the big Omaha network, and thanks to Plum Root Technologies for the wireless access. Of course, many of you guys right now are tweeting and, and Instagramming, so make sure for that you guys use the hashtag Big Omaha. Uh, you can see all the Big Omaha tweets and photos on our media wall in the lounge area. And thanks to our sponsor, Novak, Druce, and Quig. I like saying Quig. Quig LLP for the media wall. Okay, let, let, let's get to this real quick. The most important part, and it seems like you guys already have this down, that is the, the Big Omaha ovation. We, we greet all of our guests here, all of our speakers with a big standing ovation. We're just going to do a quick test real quick. I'm going to need someone to test this out with. Um, let's do my friend Amber Ray. Amber, can you stand right here, please? So I'm going to introduce Amber, have her come up to the stage. We'll just do a practice greeting her for our speaker coming up. So ladies and gentlemen, let's have a big welcome for the founder of the Bold Academy. Give it up for Amber Ray. <laughs> Nice work, guys. The DJ had the music just perfect right there. Nice work, man. Okay, now let's get into our very first speaker, which you guys have been waiting for. I'm really excited to hear this gentleman speak. Now, this guy is an authority when it comes to building profitable startups and community. He's the founder of Dogster and Catster.com. And what you guys need to know is that this guy right here is still a coder at heart. Give it up for Ted Reingold, the vice president of social at Say Media. 